Uh, hey everyone, a little bit of a different location today in my, my garage. Um, I wanted to kind of explain, I haven't done any of the actual review videos in a while. Reason being, a lot of my uh, swords that I've gotten uh, from Cult of Athena, Amazon, whatever, uh, the edges have not been up to my standard, what I would like to see. Um, nothing against the swords themselves, but the edges are not sharp enough for, for even to Tommy mats for the most part. Uh, so, I'm working on trying to figure out how I'm going to get these things sharpened. I, I do know of uh, the, the guy that does the sharpening here in town, Marad Pittman. Problem is, I don't have a lot of money to be able to always have my sword sharpened. Uh, he did a great job on the couple of blades that I've sent to him. Uh, it's just not uh, feasible right now for me to be doing a bunch of others. Uh, meanwhile, I did something kind of different, uh, still in the weapons... Uh, category, I decided to actually build a Viking shield. Um, I saw some videos on YouTube, of course, on how to build them, and I thought, well, you know, I can probably do that. I'm not going to do any sort of tutorial on how to do them myself, because uh, I, I don't feel I've got the skill set to be able to show how they're done. Uh, that, and there's enough videos out there uh, showing uh, already really good step-by-step -step instructions on how to make them. The one thing I think I can add to those is, uh, I'll bring this up a little bit closer. <clears throat> a lot of people complain that the rawhide doesn't look very good. So what I did instead was I actually, I flipped it, rather than having big long strips and nailing them down, I flipped them into somewhat of a pattern on here. Uh, almost looking like scales or something along those lines. Uh, I think it looks a little more attractive than some of the ones that I've seen. So, I mean, if it's small innovation for someone looking to do this as a project. I am not good with tools and this was an easy project. So if you're looking to buy a shield and you're going, holy crap, this is too expensive, this is a really good option to go. You can make your own without a lot of money put in. Uh, the initial investment in some of the tools and stuff that I needed was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. Uh, canvas specifically, this is a, a green canvas here, uh, is very, very expensive. But once you've got it, you've got a now you get a big canvas from Canadian Tire or something like that, uh, or your local hardware store, and, and it's going to last you for at least a dozen of these shields. I also made one uh, for my little guy. Uh, it looks like a Flintstones uh, wheel, unfortunately, and my cutting was not very good on it. Uh, he loves orange, so I did a an orange uh, accent there for him. And these bosses on here are just off Amazon. Uh, Cult of Athena has them as well. They're pretty cheap. Uh, doesn't take much. I didn't care for the uh, hardware that came with them, so I used my own. But honestly, this, this was an easy project. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my kids are really enthusiastic. I got another one on the go for my daughter, and then I'm going to make one for my oldest son. Uh, they were really excited with this. The rawhide was literally just from a pet store. And then this is kind of neat. I used a uh, leather on here. Uh, actually from an old chair of my kid's grandmother that passed away a few years back. Uh, so I thought they could have a little piece of her with them. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to get into just kind of why I hadn't done a video in a while. Uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out the sharpening situation. Uh, I might try my hand at sharpening them myself. I'm not sure. But I thought in the meantime I'd show off my Viking shield here. It is a hefty sucker. I'll move this out of the way. I should do a video probably on my on, a, on my uh, new spear here right away, but this is, it's just the typical handle construction that you see in Viking shields. What's neat about them is Vikings use them not just as a shield, but as a weapon as well. They understood that it was part of the melee combat, not just as a defensive weapon, but as an offensive tool. So this thing is built to last. I'm a big guy. I made it big. Uh, obviously, the one I made for my kid, he still actually can't even lift this up very well, but uh, he'll grow into it. This is a nice almost buckler size, really easy to move. But... So yeah, um, just wanted to kind of let everybody know where I was at, what I was doing. Uh, I'll probably do a couple more of these shields. I don't think I'm going to show any videos on it or anything, but uh, I got a new spear in the mail. I got a couple Viking swords I want to review still. But as I said, the edges are not where I want them to be. The spear uh, has an exceptional edge, just a free preview there, but uh, uh, I was really impressed with that one. And yeah, so that's where, th where things are at, and I'll leave it at that. Till next time.